What's up, everybody? Dorito here, and welcome back to episode two of uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Now, in the last episode, we met the second sister, and let's just say she has proven that she is out for blood. Now, in this one, we are on Begano. We are here to search for a Jedi and the secrets of this planet. So, let's get right into it, shall we? We're supposed to follow uh, BD-1. Uh, let's get it set up here. I believe he is up here. Yeah, there's BD-1. Yep, so uh, let's get into it, shall we? Uh, this game looks so good, though. <laughs> I never the discussed Seer how... Mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. I never discussed how I'm going to record this. Uh, it's going to be based off planet. So each time I have to transition to a new planet is going to be a new episode. All right. Yeah, I get it. There we go. Can I close now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I know. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be going based off of planets. So each planet marks a new episode. Okay, you do. You excited or something, though, man? I sense something over here. A lot of the stuff that I got to do is probably going to be That's off a really camera. big bug. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> and I wanted to attack. All right. I'll just take it. <laughs> After boggling eggs in the pack fought back. Yes. Let's see y'all. No way through here. Guess that's why BD1 warned me. Alright, maybe I'll listen to you next time. But um, there's some all yeah, that thing. Apparently the thing's like a dog. You were light. Not exactly, but kind of like. <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> Gotta get across this gap somehow. A zip line? Tiny bit of lag there. Whoa! <laughs> How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? I would go in there, but it's I hear not you, worth it. but there's something over here I want to explore. Ooh. Yeah. Over here is a uh, boss fight. It's optional. Um, I'm not sure how I want to do that. What is this place? Go. There we go. The Jedi used this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. Big that he is mine. These force echoes are probably some 
more important things in the game. Because they upgrade you so much. Ability to use power. I believe also life essence. Granted, you have to collect all of them to get those benefits, but it's so strong. Yeah. That didn't happen. Alright, but it's so useful when you do. Ugh. Let's see. Aww. I don't know how much is he flying. Because the save that I've been playing on is a little different from this one. I know there's a boss. Yeah. Right Policy. Uh, can't do that fight without BD1. This is a new trick from the Jedi. I'm gonna have to meditate for the one reason of preserving health. I don't need to die to some small creature because he hits me once because I'm bad at this game. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Because it's easier to kill him. Just like back at the scrapyard. Jump down on him. Hold on, you I'm coming. Link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Okay, try that. Diagnostics are good. The vault? Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Yeah, this way you can uh, start customizing lightsaber. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. <laughs> Tight fit, but this should work. That's how I feel anytime somebody is just like, hey, can you grab the top shelf? It's like, I understand. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. It, but... They kept food and supplies. Uh, funny. when this side wants to brighten it all up. <laughs> I forget like half the collectibles because of my save. Oh, yes. Surprises. Uh, 
That's better. Yeah. Thanks, little droid. Okay, let's try this again. Let's do. Oh, uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. Nice. Our little friend is now backpacking. So, how did you get here? I don't remember. I've never known a forgetful <laughs> droid. Can't argue with that. Hey, a chest. You up and down a little Think fast. the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? <laughs> Did you find something, BD-1? There we go, new emitter. <laughs> That's where we need to go. I can feel it. This comes first. I saw some things over here that I need to call out. Alright, BD. What are you doing, BD? Um, BD. Supposed to be able to scan, but he's T posing. Okay, we'll just scan later. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to press down the D pad and he'll scan him, but it's a little bit on the broken side. Like, look at him, he's T posing. I would jump over there, but I don't have double jumps, so it's kind of too risky. Okay, okay, I'm done. BD, there we go. Now, where is he? Look at that. You can't tell me that's not adorable. I think I gotta be over there to scan him, but you know, the view matters. Okay. You mapped everywhere we've been. Yeah, I know. Get off my back. Ow! Ah! I can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. Anywhere? Go. Go. Hmm. We have to progress this. Ugh. Can't progress this way. Everything's creeping up on me. Yawning, itchy nose, you name it. Where are you going? Why you just jumps in Something there. we can use? Maybe yes, some, but not right now. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Gotta kill this. Oh, Gotta be careful here because there's one to the left and this guy to the right. Run for it! Need 
him. Game's equivalent to a key bag. Find something? Can't key bag. Ooh. What else guys? Hey. I can't quite uh can't quite do anything over in the realm of <laughs> opening up access over there. In order to do that, I need a force push or force pull, depending on what side you're on. In uh, this one, it'll be the force push case. On the wall run to get over there. Or over there. Which is great, because I'm about to get it. So, convenience, am I right? <laughs> Slaughter. Do what must be done. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. I don't quite need it yet. I don't need it. I thought I can easily get the first strike on them. Flex on me, I'll flex on you. There we go. Flex time. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. My goodness. Go into our world. He will crush me. Another one? Uh, da, da, da. See something in there? Yeah, I see a little bit of a thing called Force Echo. Master? Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Will do. Reach my position. I did it. There we go. Persistence in the force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. I forget if there's a secret or not if I can get up there. I don't think that there is. No, there is. I see a vine. I think I even require a double jump to get up there, though. Or else it is. Now there's no way for me to 360 around and do that. But like there's a trick to get up there and I think there's a stim that you can get. <laughs> think you can show me that shortcut again? But instead he shows me 
nothing and I just keep going because I know the route. I get it, there are players that don't know how to reverse. I shouldn't be locked in the screens. This area was used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. That's up the scan. I believe it's parasites. Practically parasites. Up there, I'll need some like double jump for. I know there's a way to get some of this stuff, which I'm gonna do now because you know what? I feel like it, and it's my YouTube channel, so anybody who thinks otherwise can go somewhere else and bother somebody. literally anybody else. Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant, they were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Croissant. Croissant, as some people would say, as a joke. Why, some may ask, because it's funny. Oh, okay. That game just loves hopping in those things. It's amazing. It's great. careful in those sometimes because it is very picky. Like very picky. Alright. Got a race DD1. Race you there? Out. Oh, it's on. <laughs> Just up there in like a millisecond. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, you probably would have won. Probably. <laughs> so it was a good idea to scan. Scanning gives you some looking. Much extra extra. Speed. Okay, I'll look. Always a good thing. Always a good thing to get that a little bit extra. I'm gonna go ahead and sit here and get a skill point though. Yes, I know. Resting does it. Alright, let's see. Oh, cow dashes. Attacks target while jump dashes. Target instead. Yeah. But some of this stuff over here is good, like sprint strike and attack after a quick evade. Where if you press circle, you can press attack and then like a quick little kick. Hmm. Attacking out of a sprint. I'm gonna need this. Force is very important. So the ability to use more of it is definitely a gimme. Amazing. How you know there's a transition? 
Oh. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. What do I? We got our objective. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Maybe we are. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for the next one to come out. But as Survivor is supposed to have so much crazy stuff in it. Check the room, see if it's scannable. Like I said, scannable stuff is really good. Practically free XP. Like, why not take it? I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like yeah. you did. We'll be waiting. Here we go. Toss me a stem BD one. Let me let me scans. I just wanna scans him. I just wanna scans. I'm BD. BD, BD. I know you I know I know you have range. Just scans him. Have to be over there, the viewing area. My head over there. Be 
completely on it. Yeah, I'll head back over that way. But I can't head over there now. I have to do it at another time. It was a quick drop, okay? So I'll get you. It's gonna be off camp. Like I said. So it's like this time. Alright. Always down for some scannables. Thanks for the help. A steady a skeleton. Daddy, did you do my highest new video? I don't know how that works yet. I just posted a V-Saver video. This one is locked. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. They had their reasons. I believe that's Kashyyyk. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. I'm gonna get a nice little boss fight in before this. I go in there and kill that big thing. And nearly absolutely slap stuff around. Look at you, you derpy little... Uh, on, there's some here, I believe. Uh, just the, uh... Look at that. You can't tell me you wouldn't want to hold one of those things. Can't go over there until I can force pull. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Making a new friend. Oh, Alright, so he's over there. Oh, it looks like it smells worse than grease does. <laughs> Make a run back there. I... Uh, <laughs> uh, my overconfidence, my downfall there, my weakness. Go. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. <laughs> Just eat it. Uh. Can you 
slice this? Uh, Sorry about your scalp link. But standing up to that bog rat? Pretty brave. Where bog was killed. Is it trying to defend its family? You know what? It doesn't matter. Because the thing that killed it is dead, about to hand up me, and I am happy. I would have just stuck to it. It would have been flawless. The <coughs> games aren't that hard once you get used to it. Just I keep doing too many stupid things to get myself put into stupid situations. I'm pretty sure that's a plant that we can plant in the thing. Oh, that doesn't matter. What matters is I gotta get the objective. And I'll see you later. Like I said, I gotta get the Got a scan? Passed the test. So you knew about BD1? <laughs> Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Don't get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Batoli Reed fabric? Not really. <laughs> oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient Not civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. That little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Hmm. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. <laughs> Death Mirror Zepho, it's your choice. I like how they do all this for <laughs> it to not be the best chance Seer, they have. Can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, I push it back down. 
the exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Like how okay. you're glitching. I'll keep trying. Your arms. BD1, keep an eye on Cal for us. <laughs> All right. So next, let's go to. Main objective is here because here it kind of skips it. Uh, you can get a lightsaber upgrade early, but I'm not gonna do it. Grease, have you ever thought of redecorating? The Mantis? Why would I? Uh, wouldn't hurt to throw some art on the walls. Something new to look at. Since when do you care about art? I've always liked it. When I was younger, I used to pour through every piece I could find at the Jedi Archives. Did you critique them too? I admired them. When I became a seeker, I got to see a few in person. So many different cultures in the galaxy, and each one had their own unique works of art. It was breathtaking. Get over here, kid. We're about to land. All right. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Eh, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Uh, copy that. Maybe a dangerous route. Oh. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Huh. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Of course it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Hmm. All right. Well? Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. All right, well, I think that's where we're going to call it. So in the next episode, we're going to explore this planet. Uh, honestly? Take a look at the map. Where to next, Cal? So... Hmm. Yeah. In the next episode, we're going to explore this planet, Zepho. Um, things are going to get a little breezy, if you know what I mean. But, uh... Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, please... Like the video, subscribe, uh, share it with a friend, you know, nothing hurts, you know, share it. And uh, leave a comment if you have any recommendations or anything you want to say, or if you just simply want to shout out, just leave a comment. I'll be sure to let you know in the next video that I make. Anyway, I'll see you guys there. Peace out.